Yeah, that's right, I'll vape. So my last Tone Forge Jason Richardson plugin video didn't exactly go down too well. Um, I got a fair bit of constructive criticism, some feedback on it, and the like-dislike ratio wasn't exactly to my liking. The amount of views it got was actually pretty good for a YouTube channel of my size, but looking back on it, I couldn't help but think maybe I could do it a little bit better. But I have something that's a bit more representative of the product itself. What I attempted to do on my previous video was essentially take the main rhythm tone that I use on most of my recordings and put it up against a similar sounding tone that I managed to get out of the Jason Richardson VST. One of the things that struck me as most different in regards to using the Tone Forge JST plugin was controlling the low end of it. Now I understand that later on in the signal chain of the plugin itself, it gives you a lot of options for shaping and controlling that low end. Um, for myself to get the best results out of it for me, I found that disabling that feature altogether um, yielded much better results. Maybe I just need to take more time out to learn the ins and outs of the software. Um, maybe it's simply down to taste and personal preference, but for me, I found it much easier to just simply turn that off and rely on things such as um, limiters or multiband compressors, and I found stuff like that helped me out a lot. On my previous video I did actually get some constructive feedback from a Martin Porter who said, Main, if you use the River Amp, it may sound better. Martin, thanks for your feedback. It was very useful to me. Originally I was using the lead amp inside the plugin and I was using the edge knob to essentially control the um, the high end. I imagine like a lot of people when they get this plug-in they'll plug into the lead amp, they'll crank the gain up and they'll use the edge knob as essentially a gent knob because it does make things sound a lot gentier. Going back and listening to some of Jason Richardson's music however it's apparent to me that some of his tones are actually a bit more backed up in regards to the gain. As a result of this realisation I actually went back, I did use the river amp and I turned the gain down a little bit and again got some better results out of it. My absolute favourite comment from my previous video on this topic has to go to Tyler Durden who said, very succinctly, shit tone. Thanks Tyler, it's people like you keeping YouTube alive and giving the comments section the reputation it deserves. Anyway, one of the things that I find in my videos is that I generally get better feedback and a better response when I simply just write a track, use that track to demo the piece of software or the instrument that I'm trying to put across to you guys. So that's exactly what I did this time round. I took a song that I wrote a little while ago, it's just a collection of riffs really, and thought that that would suit the plugin pretty well. So let's give it a try and uh, this is what I've come up with. The signal chain is actually quite simple for this one. Uh, in regards to the rhythm channel, I'm just using my Ibanez JBM20 with the Marzio Titan pickups. I'm plugging it straight into my Focusrite Scarlett 6i6, the first generation model, uh, and that's going straight into the Tone Forge Jason Richardson plugin. In terms of post processing, on the actual rhythm channel itself, I'm going from the Jason Richardson plugin into JST Clip and then Cubase's built in Studio EQ. The rhythms are actually double tracked, they're then going into a bus. Um, in terms of the effects that I'm using on those, I'm using JST Finality Lights, then a Studio EQ, and then uh, Cubase is built in multiband compressor, and once again another instance of Studio EQ. There's a little bit of filtering on there just to take care of the low end and some of the high end fizz, but predominantly I didn't really want to show off our, this is how the plugin sounds when you're just jamming in your bedroom on your own. I wanted to show what could I do with it when writing and recording a song or maybe just a demo in this case. 